Hello, it's Reverend Bryony Taylor here. I'm here to show you today how you can use um, Open Broadcaster software uh, to set up your online service when you broadcast live. Now, in another video, I've explained how you set up sort of the streaming part of it and things. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can switch from scene to scene. So if you haven't seen the other video, if you head over to the blog, uh, briannytaylor.com and watch the first instructional video. Otherwise, um, stay where you are and um, I will show you how to do this. So I'm going to set up as if I'm doing my, th I'm doing a live Eucharist every Thursday evening. And so this is how I'm going to set it up. Now what we need to do is we need to create a number of scenes. So we need to create our first scene by pressing on the plus button here and type in the name of the scene, which is welcome. So this will be the first screen that people see when the video goes live. Okay. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because I've discovered what I don't like is um, at the beginning of of worship, people being able to see me sort of shuffle things around and peering at my, my webcam and things like that, looking a bit gormless. Um, so you can actually have a picture in place of that. Now, I've got something a little bit fancy. You don't have to go as fancy as this. I'm going to click in a, a little video that's got a flickering candle, which just lets people know that the video is working. Because sometimes if there's a static picture, um, you kind of think, mm, is it working or not? So I've got a flickering candle. Um, I've made this picture this little video on a fantastic free tool called canva.com. So it's like the word canvas without the S at the end, canva.com. Um, and that's where I created this. So I'm going to add, you can either add an image, but as I say, if it's not moving, then sometimes people think that the um, it's not working. So I'm going to add a media source, which is a video. So I'm going to click there and click and type welcome vid. Okay click on OK and then I'm going to browse here and this is already saved in my computer it's called welcome to worship so I click there click open and I want this video to loop so otherwise it will flicker for a little while and then it will just the screen will just go black so I want it to loop again and again and again until I click away from it and then I'm going to click on OK and there's my little video that I made. Now, as I say, it looks really flashy, but it was very easy to make in canva.com. There we go. Oops. So I'm just, I've just made it fill the screen there. And then once we're happy that, with that is our first scene, the welcome scene. And I want to have this screen come up when the video goes live so people can't see me shuffling my papers and trying to light candles and get myself ready. Um, so that's the first one. And to fix it, all the elements on the screen, you just click on the little lock button there. And then I can't do anything. I can't move that, that video around anymore. If I want to move it again, I unclick and you can start moving things around. You see how that works? So I've just done that. So that's my first scene. That's my welcome scene. Right, the next one is the actual service itself. So I'm just going to type in service as the name of the next scene. And then that goes back to blank because we haven't got anything in here yet. First thing we need to do is to add our PowerPoint that's got my service words on it. It's got the liturgy on it. Now, um, I explained how to do this in, in my other video. So I will just assume that you've seen how to do that. Um, for ease on mine, I've made my PowerPoint presentation um, portrait rather than landscape so I can make my video bigger. Um, so what we do to grab the PowerPoint presentation, so you have a PowerPoint ready on your computer and you can select window capture and you need to have that PowerPoint open on your computer. Okay. Um, and I'm going to type in PowerPoint here. And then I'm going to click OK. And then I need to find the PowerPoint here. There it is. PowerPoint that's it. And it happens to be on this particular page at the moment. So I will just move this. As I say, it, it highlights in red quite helpfully when you're selecting something. So I'm just going to move this to the corner where I want it. So that's my PowerPoint. And now we need to add, I'm just going to lock that so I can't move it again. Now I need to add my web, webcam. 
So you'll see my face in a minute. So I'm going to type webcam. Click OK. And there we are. I presume if you've got different devices, if they can come up here. I've only got one webcam, but you might have fancier stuff where you are. But you select which one you want. Click OK. And again, you can move this around wherever you want. So I'm going to make it quite big. Because normally when I'm taking the service, obviously I'm standing back. So you can see me take the service. So I'm just going to move this to here. Right, I'm happy with where that is. So that's what the service format looks like. And I'm just going to lock that now. So I can't, again, can't move that around. It's not going to jiggle around or anything. It'll stay where I want it to be. So that's the service bit. And then the last one we want to do is something to put up at the end. Because again, when you finish, um, you always say, bye, thanks for coming, so on and so forth. And then you move up to kind of stop the live video and it makes you, you look a bit, well, you can see how stupid I'm looking doing that. So we want to avoid that and put up um, a picture at the end. Um, and again, there's one I made earlier. So we're going to add another scene, which I'll put as end. Okay, so I call this the end. And then it'll go blank again, so we're creating a new scene. And I'm going to click image. And I'm going to click, thank you for coming. So that's the end. And another picture that I made uh, on Canva. If I can find it. <laughs> I thought it was in here. Oh no, hang on, I think it's called Facebook Notices. No, it's not. Notices Facebook, that's what it's called. Terrible at calling things different names. It's that one, I think. There we go. I nicked the uh, thing from Vicar Dibley. Bless you for watching. So that's a picture. And again, I made this on canva.com. Fantastic bit of free software. It's so good. I use it for making all my posters and things for church. So really recommend it. So I'm going to click OK there. Clip it to there. And then I'm going to lock it so I can't move it around. So there I've got my three scenes. So what this means is that when I go live, so I start streaming, and then I click live on Facebook, I can have, click on welcome, that's my first scene. So the video is playing live. In the meantime, I can be setting things up, getting things ready, sorting myself out. Then... When I'm, when I'm properly ready to start the service, I click on the service button here under scenes. I say, welcome to worship this evening. Take the service. Now, when I'm doing this with PowerPoint, um, I usually get my husband to move the slides along. And just a little reminder, when you go live doing this, you can't really watch yourself back on Facebook and stuff because you're using this OBS software to broadcast. The only thing you'll be able to see because you need to move PowerPoint slides is your PowerPoint presentation. So that's what comes up. And then my husband moves the slides along for me. Okay. So that's, that's all I can actually see when, when I'm doing it live. So it's just a bit of a reminder for that really. That's what, what you'll see. Okay. Um, so I take the service and then as I say, Rather than have a bit of awkwardness at the end, trying to come up and press stop and, and everything like that, I just then click on end when I'm finished. And then that come up and then I can quickly go over to Facebook and click end live recording. And it's all quite smooth and quite um, organized like that. If you don't want to um, stream live, what you could do is pre-record the whole thing by simply clicking on welcome, clicking on start recording, it's recording now. So you could obviously, you know, I'm talking at the moment, but you wouldn't be talking for that bit. You could leave that up for a couple of seconds. Then you could click on the service and say, welcome to our service. You could work through the service. Um, actually you can see that the PowerPoint's moved down a little bit. But anyway, um, work through your service um, and then when you've finished 
click on end, click stop recording. Now, the way mine's set up is it default saves all your recordings in the videos folder on your computer. It's probably, that's probably the default. So where is that video? Right, let's have a look. Uh, I'm just going to click on videos again to refresh it. The good thing is this has a timestamp on it. Okay, so it automatically saves what you've just videoed. And there it is. So we can watch that now. So you can see how you can pre-record the whole service now. You're just able to see a little bit of this, I think. But basically, that's where you'll find the video. Okay, so I'll just go back to OBS. Um, so you could pre-record your whole service in OBS and then it just automatically saves it all and you haven't even got to kind of um, render the video or anything like that. So it's actually probably the easiest way to pre-record your services if you want to pre-record. Alternatively, you just stream it. Um, and usually when you press start streaming, the start recording button starts as well. So it records while you're streaming as well. So you'll still have that saved video of your service in that videos folder. So that's a really good feature. The last thing to show you is um, you can do transitions between scenes. So we can add one. So if I click um, Luma wipe just for fun, I'm not really sure what it is, but the good thing about this is you choose it. Oh, and there's lots of choices in here of what you can do. Let's see what spiral looks like just for a bit of fun. But what you can do is you can preview what that transition will be like. You might be familiar with the word transition from like PowerPoint slides. There you go. So that's what that one looks like. So I'll click OK. So now when I move from the scene to scene, it does that. So you can actually do all sorts of, you can play around with this stuff for ages. Um, but that's just a simple way that you can pre-record a service. Um, you can have smooth transitions between the different sections. I'm just really pleased I've found out how to do this because I was getting sick of walking up and going uh, like that, trying to find the um, end live video button on the computer. And now I can finish with that on the screen instead. So, and you can, you can of course put messages on there. You can put anything you like in there. And that is how you can create different scenes in OBS. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this helpful. Um, if you head over to my blog, brianetaylor.com, you'll find a load of other things to do with ministry during the coronavirus pandemic. Take care. Bye.